Hey, it's Susan and I'm here to tell you today about this healthy choice, Simply Steamers. So my Optavia coach was just like, you know what, there is an option in case you don't wanna have to think about a meal and something that you can just pull out of the freezer and zap in the microwave. So I was like, uh, yes, hello, I am so all in. So this is the grilled chicken and broccoli Alfredo um, flavor or variety or whatever you wanna call it. But look at that, it's supposed to be, um, you know, a super natural, nothing artificial in it, you know, made from cherub tears and, you know, organic, lovely everything. Actually, is it organic? Nah, but it's like super not processed and not full of chemicals and preservatives. So I think I can get on board with that. So the claims are that it's made with 100% natural chicken, nothing artificial, so, yeah, that's it. And if you look at the macros, so um, let's see, if you turn around here, I'll share with you that it's 190 calories and um, five grams of fat, uh, eight grams of carbs, but you subtract the fiber. And so that's only four grams of carbs and then 28 grams of protein. So the big question of the day is, does this count as a lean and green? And the answer is yes, but with two little additions. So if you want to get this, and this is the only uh, frozen meal to date that I have heard of that will count as a lean and green, all you have to add is one healthy fat, and then you have to add one green. That's not hard, right? So you want to know what I did? So I chopped up exactly two ounces of raw zucchini. There we go. And I'm just going to literally stick that um, into this frozen tray and mix it around. Did I cook this? No, I just chopped it from raw. We'll see what happens, we'll see. And then um, I have a couple of options for the fat, just in case you want to try this as well. So, and we're gonna taste test this. We're gonna see if it's uh, gross or not. Okay, so the first one is ricotta cheese made with uh, part skim milk. So you can use this, two tablespoons of this, and here are the macros right there. You wanna make sure that the macros um, are in line with what you can have for a healthy fat. And this works. So you can either have two tablespoons of this, so reduced fat, low fat uh, ricotta cheese, or you can have, ooh, one of my yummy staples. You can put one laughing cow wedge uh, in there, which I think would be yummy too. And this is the garlic herb one I'm always raving about, and this is the original, both great. This goes really great on savory waffles and savory things, and this goes really great to me on sweet things and savory, but this savory, ooh, very, very good. So you can put one of these wedges in, and then the other option is, oh, you can also put two tablespoons of sour cream in there. I don't have any sour cream, so that's not even an option, but I don't think I would choose that anyway. And then the third thing you can do, you can use this um, one third less fat cream cheese. So I was thinking the cream cheese would be great, but honestly, I just feel like, hmm, if we wanna get like, you know, all Italian about it, I feel like Alfredo sauce would go really well with the ricotta. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of this and the zucchini in there, and then, yeah, let's do that and zap it. Okay, y'all, look at the instructions. It says to microwave on high for four and a half to five minutes. No need to vent the film. But you know what? I have to vent the film because this is how it came. It came like this in the box and it was like, don't, you know, vent the film. But I have to because how in the heck am I gonna get my two extra ounces of lean in there and then my ricotta cheese? So I also noticed that these steamers are cool. I've had steamers before, just not this variety. So I guess that's the Alfredo sauce right there so why don't we do this why don't we just take two tablespoons of this ricotta boop, boop, boop. i don't know what i'm doing i mean this could totally end up being horrible i don't know we'll see there we go so that is um two tablespoons of ricotta so i'm just going to keep that underneath there and then i am going to add i hope you're not getting motion sickness i'm going to add this zucchini in here. I mean, could I have done this afterwards? Yes, but you know what? The point is for this to be simple and I don't wanna have an extra step. I just wanna zap it. And I am going to, I know you're gonna just be like, girl, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I'm gonna take some tape 
than my tape dispenser. Uh-huh. I'm gonna take some tape and I am just going to um, tape this back down because I don't, it says steamers and I'm just thinking it probably, probably needs to be like not, let's take two more pieces of tape. And then it's kind of closed. I don't know. So we're gonna do this so that everything's in there and hopefully the zucchini will cook and hopefully the ricotta will end up super creamy. So it says four to four and a half to five minutes. Okay, here it is. Four and a, fi four and a half to five minutes. Um, stir steamed food into sauce bowl. Careful, it's hot. Check that food is cooked thoroughly and enjoy. Um, okay, let's do four to five minutes, shall we? All righty, let's see. Let's go to the microwave and we're going to stick that baby in the microwave and we are going to try 430. All right, I'll see you in four minutes and 30 seconds and we'll see what happens. Okay, that's our signal that hopefully it's done. What do you think? Let's see. All right, let's see. Oh, those are my bananas that need to be made into banana bread for um, some teachers. But okay, well, here we go. I guess we need to lift up the film. Let's see. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> I feel the steam. Now I know why they call it a steamers. Okay, I need scissors. Do I have scissors? Yes, I do. All right. Here we go, so we're gonna see if this cooked well enough. Ooh, yeah, the zucchini is nice and al dente. And the whole point for me, people, is that I don't want to dirty up stuff. Oh, wait a minute. So, oh, nope, I thought it was still frozen, but it's not. Well, let's whip this up together. That's the Alfredo sauce mixed with the, what did I put in there, part skim ricotta? So, okay, okay. So we're gonna put everything in there. So we have our extra fat and we have our extra lean. I'm worried that this may not be warm enough. I might have to put it in the extra 30 seconds, but so far, not bad, right? Let's see, let's taste a little bit. Oh, that's totally good. All right, hold on. That's all you do. I mean, could you make it pretty and plate it better than I'm doing right now? Yeah, but you know what? That's not the point, people. The point is to have something easy, one and done, that you don't have to have anything extra. You know what I mean? No extra dishes, no extra anything. All right, let's do a taste test. But look, here it is close up. There you go. You got your grilled chicken, you got your Alfredo sauce, you got broccoli, and your extra lean of the zucchini. I put two ounces in there and the extra two tablespoons of ricotta, which hopefully will make it even creamier. So let's see. Okay, so here it is. It's all done. We've got the uh, grilled chicken broccoli Alfredo healthy choice steamer. Let's see if it's any good. I like it that it comes in its own little plate, um, little bowl plate thing. It's nice, all in one. Let's see if it tastes good. I hope it does, because you know what? We all like easy throw in the microwave sometimes. I mean, I cook pretty much three meals a day these days. Um, so it's nice to have a little breaky break. All right, so let's get a bite full with everything. It is hot. There's a reason they call it, can you see that steam? They call it steamers. Oh, that's good. That is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm hmm I would say a solid 8.5 out of 10, which is pretty high praise. I mean, is it, you know, you go to an Italian restaurant or an Italian family's house and having this? Of course not. Why? Because it's healthier for you and it doesn't have like a whole bunch of oil and a whole bunch of pasta in it, whatnot. But actually, you know what? I gave it like a nine, a nine plus for a healthy choice meal. It, it tastes really light. Mmm, super light, as in like, I don't feel like I'm gonna be super full and heavy afterwards, but still it's got a, 
hint of richness, a hint of creaminess that I like. Thumbs up, people, thumbs up. So if you want a frozen alternative to a lean and green, totally get you a healthy choice. This is great. It's a steamer. It's the grilled chicken broccoli alfredo. Got it at the freezer section. I happened to get mine at Walmart. And so, yeah, I got three of them just in case I wanted to have like emergency stash in my freezer. But this is really yummy. I'm thinking this is going to be a staple, you know, emergency or a break meal. You know what I mean? So I like it. I like it. Bon appetit. So try this. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel because I'll have a lot more videos coming up. In fact, my next video is going to be how to make traditional and how to waffleize, make opta waffles. Yeah, I totally made that term up, but to make waffles out of the golden and chocolate chip golden pancake fuels. So that's coming up next, and I have lots of videos coming up that I think will help you on your Optavia journey. So join me. I'd love to hear your comments down below. If you've tried this, let me know what you thought of it as well, but I'm liking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner. This is my leaning green for the night, and I'm going to say good night to you and have a great one, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.